good y'all it's your girl stasia and i am back with a story time and i'm talking real calm but on the inside i am so pissed off and this is for fucking amazon so if amazon if you see this shit count your motherfucking days because i'm about done with y'all bitches to be honest so i purchased a couch april 23rd the same within the same hour or two that i ordered it they took the money out of my account but i was also trying to cancel it you know how you can go to the amazon and you go to the order details you can cancel whatever um whatever order you placed and you want to cancel it i tried for like two three days straight you guys to cancel that motherfucking couch and just get my money back because i found another couch that i really wanted and i was like okay i can just get my money back and buy that couch with this money all right boom so i was i was chatting with them on the amazon app i was calling them talking to them and every time i talked to somebody they gave me wrong false information y'all false information because every time i would talk to somebody they said oh no this is the correct one no this is the correct one Bruh, Amazon, get y'all people together because they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And your app be lying too because it says you're supposed to get a refund within three to five business days after they receive the item. It's been eight business days and I haven't got shit. And then other people are telling me, oh, it's seven to ten days. Not business days. They just said it's seven to ten days after we got the item. It's been almost um this Friday coming up because it's currently Wednesday. This Friday coming up, it'll be two weeks. Then somebody else told me, oh, it's going to be 14 to 30 days before they can do a manual refund request. That's bullshit. You want to know how I know that's bullshit? Because last week, somebody, what was it? Um, last Wednesday, I was talking to a customer service representative, and they put in a refund request for my order. And they said, if you have not received it in 48 hours, contact us back. I contacted them last friday and they told me i'm missing a few parts but i'm gonna go back they told me that my refund request was declined because i didn't fill out an incident report why would i need to fill out an incident report for an item that was returned to amazon that doesn't make fucking sense to me so then i put the incident report in the dude i talked to on the phone that day he was like oh the reason it was declined is because you didn't put in the incident report I said, okay, put in the incident report, and then you should get your refund request. I'm calling the people. They said, oh, we can't do a refund request until after 30 days. What the fuck is going on? I done had 10,000 things said to me, and I've been pissed off this whole entire time. It is currently fucking May 15th, bruh. The item never got to me. I never had the item. So basically, after I ordered the item, after two days of trying to contact them to, con to cancel the item, I contacted UPS. UPS said I had to contact Amazon, and then Amazon has to contact UPS and do a stop and return. So basically, that happened. The lady was like, okay, now you should receive your refund three to five business days after we receive it or whatever. Or she just said after, after they do. I don't know what the fuck she said. It was three to five business days. And I was like, okay. Period. I'm gonna get my refund and blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, they, first of all, it pissed me off because when I tried to cancel my order, it had it had not even shipped yet, y'all. It had not even shipped yet, and so I didn't understand why my order was not canceling. People, like I even contacted customer service, and they even put in a request to cancel it before it was even shipped, and they still shipped the item. And the lady on the phone was reassuring. She was like, yeah, they're going to um, fucking, um, they're going to uh, give you your um, refund and stuff. Um, they're going to cancel it and you're going to get your refund within three business days. I was like, oh shit, Where you did your shit. She was so reassuring. And I was like, okay, but what if they still ship the item? She was like, well, in that rare occasion, um, you can return the item and then get a refund. But she was like, but that shouldn't happen. It should be canceled and stuff like that. Fucking lies, bruh. Fucking lies. That's all I've been told this whole fucking time is fucking lies. And it's pissing me off. So, I was like, bruh. Like, I was pissed that whole week because I'm like, bruh, y'all is take y'all took my money. 
but I'm trying to get it cancel this fucking item to get my money back to get a different couch. And I was just, I was, this whole thing has been stressing me out, bro. So after that, I've been literally y'all, I've been contacting these people, contacting these people, contacting these people, whether it's chat, phone call or whatever. Like I even did a dispute with my bank and my bank declined my dispute for what? I don't know. They just said it was no error. I don't know what they mean by no error because I can literally show them my house and show that I never re received um, the item. So, so I'm contacting people. I done talked to a thousand supervisors and they keep giving me different answers. I've been cussing out everybody because nobody is giving me an answer why I can't get my refund if I no longer have the item. I never had the item at, at all. Literally, a stop and return was done, and I've never had the item. The item was delivered to Amazon <clears throat> in Kentucky. And I have receipts. Like, oh, it's on this phone, I think. Let me see. I think I added it to this phone. Hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all. So, I, <clears throat> I found one of the screenshots. So, this is the UPS. Um, This was April 30th when this... um when this was um, returned to sender. So, well, when they started returning it back to sender. But, hold on. Okay, y'all. So, this is one of the packages. All the packages was together. They shipped my shit in three packages. So, when I was contacting, because on UP on Amazon, it only shows you one tracking, not three. So, I had to go to the UPS app, and it shows me that I had three packages. They shipped the couch in three packages. So, when I did that, um, they was like, oh, well, we received only two of the packages, so we can't do anything until we receive the th three packages and we finish processing them. So I'm confused because I'm like, what? If you're, if first of all, it's already headed towards y'all. So this is one of the packages, y'all. As you can see, can y'all see? It says package has been returned to sender, meaning the package was returned to Amazon in Hebron, Kentucky, on May 3rd, 11 p.m., which was a lie because it was returned early that morning. So, I don't know. But, anyways, that's besides the point. Either way, the packages have been returned. All three of them were returned. I have the screenshots for all three of them being returned to the sender, meaning it's been returned back to Amazon. So, I'm over here calling people. I'm like, okay, why haven't I received a refund? Because people was like... Um, oh, like, cause when people, um, when I was talking to people before it was delivered, they said, oh, at, when, after it's delivered, we can, um, the people, the warehouse will pro process a refund is going to be automatic. So I'm thinking as soon as they get the item, it's going to be automatically sending me an email saying, oh, we got your item, like get you a refund. No, it has not been like that at fucking all. And it might be a part two because it's a lot of shit. So yeah so i've been contacting this is what the third week i've been contacting them let's see one two three. yep the third week i've been contacting them so last week they y'all already know when i they told me i could get a refund somebody put in a refund request it was denied because i got to put in the incident report and for some fucking reason they said oh it looks like your package may have been stolen fill out a police report why the fuck would I fill out a police report for an item that was canceled and returned to Amazon? The fuck? I never had the item. And what pisses me off about um, customer service, where it's on the phone or um, their app, and this is just for Amazon. What pisses me off about their customer service is that they don't do their fucking research. Every time I have to, they, and they don't even leave notes on your account for like future um, customer service. Uh, customer service representatives to look at so every time i call or contact somebody they have to i have to retell them the whole fucking story and it pisses me off so i don't understand why they have not made like a note on my account saying like this we looking into this and this is and every time i get some emails like oh we're investigating this or you need to put in a police report because like your package was stolen and it was, it's just some some bullshit some fucking bullshit so I talked to somebody and they was like, well, it could take up to 30 days before we can manually give you a refund, but you can expect a refund any day now. Are you fucking with me? 
Okay, now this is part two to Amazon is fucking with me and won't give me my motherfucking money. So, as y'all already know, I had put in a dispute with my bank. And my bank declined my dispute. They said I can get documents. Um, but I'm just confused on how there's no error. That's what I don't get about fucking banks. You can provide all the proof in the world that shows that you did not get this item. That you did never receive this item. And it was returned back to Amazon. And they declined it. So I want to know why the fuck did they decline it if the if Amazon has their item. So that pissed me off. So I was mad about that. I might do a rebuttal. But yeah. So the packages, all their packages returned to Amazon. And I still have not heard. I have not received a refund. I haven't received an email re regarding a refund. I have not received shit. And I don't have the packages. They have the packages. But they said it could take up to 30 days for them to process it. It didn't take you 30 days to steal my money. Take my money. It took you an hour at the most to take that money from my account. Y'all, this couch I paid was $683. I paid $683 for this fucking money, bro. And it's really pissing me off. Because y'all, people don't know, like, what other people go through. And it's like bruh like give me my money like i'm getting money like y'all i don't work because my job laid me off so like at a time of need this is where i need my money the most you feel me i mean i get refunds from my school so it's no problem i get a refund next week but y'all are playing with my motherfucking money dead ass and it's pissing me off so yeah so um after that so let's let's fast forward. I done told y'all all the background about how these bitches have been lying to me basically the whole fucking time. Now today, they've been having longer wait times. So I was like, I've been going off the app and then somebody will chat and then they will have to, I don't know. It was like, Paul, your chat was paused because it due to inactivity or whatever. So I'm finally on the, I'm finally on here with somebody. And they pissed me off so bad. I asked for a manager after they said what they said immediately. But usually I would argue with them first. But he pissed me off so bad. I just said, give me a, a supervisor. Because that man did not do research. So let me tell y'all. So as I already stated, the cash was like six hundred something dollars So I told him. He asked me, can you tell me more about the refund? He said, did you return the item? And by that, I already know that they didn't do their research. Because... It literally, when you go to the Amazon app, you have to pick the item that you are referring to so they can look at the item. But then they asked for the order number. I gave him the order number, and then he asked me to give him more information about it. Did I return it? But if you look at the fucking uh, tracking on the package, you will see that it was returned to Amazon. And he's going to sit here. He's And then... After I had said that, I told him how it was returned to Amazon. I never had it. Amazon contacted UPS to do a stop and return. I never had the item. He said, oh, I see. Have you received or canceled the delivery? At this point, you about to piss me off. Well, at this point, I was already pissed off because you're not listening to a damn thing that I fucking said. I literally told you I never had the item. Amazon did a stop and return on the item. I never had it. So why would I refuse the delivery if i said amazon did a stop and return and i never had the item obviously i tried to cancel the item so i told him i tried to cancel the item it wouldn't let me so amazon contact you yes and all this other stuff he said oh all right thank you he said but unfortunately based here on the checking information hold on i'm speaking to a supervisor now so i'm reading the conversation verbatim he said, um, but unfortunately, based here on the tracking information, which I know he lied because I have the tracking information and I know what it says. And then he said, but unfortunately, based here on the tracking information, the package was marked as delivered to your shipping address. Let, let me show y'all something real quick. I'm a, this is the couch, right? I'm going to show you the shipping information. I live in Greensboro, North Carolina. The last time that shit was in Greensboro, North Carolina was May 2nd when it was being returned. And as you see, the shit literally says package delivered, Walton, Kentucky. 
How was it delivered to my shipping address? And I don't fucking live in Walton, Kentucky or Hebron, Kentucky. I don't even live in fucking Kentucky at all. I live in North Carolina. So that pissed me off because now I know you're lying. You didn't look at the information. So. Okay, so she responded. Um, so I said, he talking about, um, I said, no, it was not because I live in Greensboro, North Carolina. So you're lying. He said, oh, by the way, this person name is, no, I ain't going to even say it. he customer service, but I'm going to report him because I didn't, he didn't do shit. So anyways, he said these three packages was marked as delivered on May 3rd to your shipping address by the carrier. Have you tried checking with your neighbors? Literally? That pissed me off so bad because you didn't look at all. You will see on the list of the tracking, it says a stop and return multiple times. And you will see that it went from Greensboro, North Carolina, which is where my shipping address is, to fucking Kentucky. Do I look like I live in fucking Kentucky, bro? No. So I said it delivered in Kentucky. That's how I know you didn't look at the tracking. I would like to speak to a supervisor. He's talking about some, I understand, Lestasia. I do understand that you want to talk to our supervisor. But just to let you know, the information provided was carefully reviewed. No, it wasn't. Because if you reviewed it, I have the, I have the same information you have. So how are you going to tell me what it says under the tracking? That doesn't make sense. It was carefully reviewed and investigated and really can't provide any action or insight on this matter. Bullshit. I said I even have screenshots that it shows it was returned to sender. I mean, it was returned to Amazon. And I said, no, it was not because you gave false information. So it wasn't. I would like the supervisor who can actually help. So he's talking about, yes, I understand. Please stay on the line. So now I'm talking to this other lady and she's, I think it's a lady. I'm talking to this other person and I feel like I'm basically going to have to cuss her out too because the information, I don't know what the fuck y'all got going on with these motherfucking people giving false information to the same person. Like, this is not the first, second, third, fifth person to give me wrong information. This is like the 20th person that gave me wrong information. Including fucking supervisors at Amazon. So, y'all need to do fucking better. Point blank, period. And Amazon, y'all need to give me my motherfucking money. Before I take y'all to motherfucking court. And I'm dead fucking serious. So, now... I'm just waiting and I'm about to tell her about the previous customer service agent because he didn't do his job. He wasn't trying to fucking help me. He didn't look at the tracking because if he did look at the tracking. That's another thing I hate. So, um, yeah, if he did look at the tracking, he will see that it was not delivered to my address. It was the. It was supposed to be delivered to my address until I did a stop of return. I don't live in Kentucky, sir. So, now I was I was supposed to be talking to this lady or whoever this person was. And what I hate is that they don't tell you when they transfer you to another person. So, it just popped up saying that, that whoever I was talking to left the chat. Thanks for contacting Amazon. So, I don't know if I have to speak to somebody different or if I have to speak to another man, uh, another team or whatever but we gonna get down to business because i'm so sick and tired of them making excuses oh you have to put in the internet report oh you have to wait until the warehouse gets your items oh you have to wait till they process them how long does it take you to scan three fucking boxes and be like oh my gosh she returned her stuff let's give her a refund be fucking for real bruh like, that shit pisses, it pisses me off so bad, y'all. Y'all don't understand. Like, Amazon, count your days. Like, I'm, stuff like this makes me stop wanting to fuck with Amazon and all these other people. Because, why, why? Like, I just don't fucking understand. Um, but, yeah. So, I've been contacting these people for basically three weeks now. Have not gotten a refund. My items was returned back to Amazon. They still haven't issued me a refund. And so, yeah, I hope y'all blow this shit up so that way Amazon can see this shit.